Bankruptcy. Um, the biggest, just, the biggest things for this one would be the ceilings, the popcorn texture on the ceiling. So if you're familiar with that, um, lots of times lots of they contain asbestos, and you can get it tested for relatively cheap. And then it does have asbestos, um, you can either paint them or scrape them. I think this is called to use. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's, that's one idea. The other main idea would be the bathroom floor. They have uh, like stick down tiles, you know, and they're basically just loose. So they were either not, hold on, bathroom is loud. Oh, you know, maybe they just didn't stick them down too well. Maybe the floor is dusty when they did stick them down, but they're, they're basically loose as you walk on them. Uh, not, ter not terribly loose, but my thought would be um, with a shower, you know, water often drips on the floor. You just want to make sure your bath floor is, is watertight. So, um, as it is, I wouldn't be surprised if water can soak through, you know, the joints and get it, get wet underneath. So, so the solution is probably to replace that floor. The good news is that it's it's a relatively small area. Yeah. Yeah, and you have options. You could you could also reuse these tiles if you if you wanted to, um, you know, basically just pull them up, prep the floor, and stick them back down. But that's yeah, up to the discretion of whoever comes to fix it. So the yeah, the ceilings if they do contain asbestos, you can either paint them or scrape them. The back floor, you know, let's say if you have it in the budget, you could just replace it. Um, and then otherwise, everything's pretty minor. But if you want to, I can go through them right now. You want to hear all? Yeah, that's right. You can scrape, you can scrape a sample, drop it off the lab. It's like $40. It's really cheap. And they'll tell you. What is this called? I think 1982. Yeah, so this, this building is 82, which is after like the key date. But um, that's when they stopped manufacturing. Special products, but a lot of contractors were using like leftover stock for a few years, a few years after. So it is possible things in the early eighties contain asbestos. Just not likely, but could it? Yeah, it's a lot. Possible. That's right. That's right. It's a lot less likely. Um, but for forty bucks, you know, I'd say it's worth just taking a sample down to the lab and getting checked. Oh, certainly. Um, let me ask you. Uh, I mean, what is prohibited? So the, I mean, first the implication is that it's not good for your health if you breathe it in. Uh, in theory, so in theory, if it if it stays put, it stays on the ceiling, you never scrape it, it never goes airborne. It's not a health hazard. That's why that's why like painting it is a good solution. It's an adequate solution because it'll just seal it. In. You can leave it in the room. You just want to seal it. So if it, gets, if it gets scraped in the airborne, then it can become a health hazard. Um, the solutions would be either paint it or scrape it if you want like a smooth uh, texture to ceiling and scrape it off. So yeah, it's not. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, they usually go for the square footage. So you know the square footage of this area is pretty small. So. Doing this ceiling would not be a, a massive chore. Um, get, get a, if it does have asbestos, um, get a professional who knows how to do it properly. But yeah, because of the square footage, it shouldn't be like it should be a huge task. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the bathroom is like something I could learn and do on my own. Um, Andy, the lawn inspector cannot recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think it's possible. This. I can tell you this. <laughs> if you did go on YouTube, you would not be the only person who ever did that. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to check. Yeah, it's just a floor, and I didn't find any moisture in it. You know, I do like a thermal scan, infrared scan for the whole place. So there's no, I don't detect any moisture today. But if you use the shower, it's still a lot of water out of the shower. So, um, I would imagine it could, it could definitely like, seep through the joints and get underneath. At which point, it's just really hard. It'll never dry out. So let's say 
Yeah, a lot of people do it. A lot of people do it as a DIY project. I would check with the association, make sure you don't need a license contract or something. But it's, yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's see. By the way, the report the report is like really negative by nature. It only tells you what needs to get fixed. I don't tell you everything. Okay. So, like the appliances, let me check. Uh, with the exception of the disposal, the appliances are great. So the fridge is in great shape. The range is good. Washer dryer, that's good. The disposal is important. And um, probably just replace it, it's older, they're not expensive. Um, and then the range hood also doesn't work. They have blue tape on it, so it sounds like they know it doesn't work. Maybe they'll fix it or replace it. Um, Wait, the range hood that? Yeah, so like the ventilation over the stove. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Uh, it's power, the light turns on, the fan doesn't work. So. Okay. You could, but you can replace it. Yeah, you could, you could fix the fan, or you could just replace the whole hood. Um, pretty minor. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, they, you know, they did, like, cabinets, countertops, and floors, uh, which are all done really well. They're good quality, solid wood cabinets. Um, appliance can be good. Yeah, you know, they're vinyl. It's vinyl plank. Yeah. The cabinets are solid wood and good shape. Yeah. Okay. So the other little things would include the front door. Um, it has a door sweep. You know what that is on the bottom? There's a little rubber gasket kind of thing on the bottom. It's called a door sweep. Okay. Well, there'll, there'll be photos and videos in the report. Um, but basically, the door doesn't close by itself. It has a hydraulic door closer, but there's there's just a little pressure on the bottom. So you get a handyman here, he's gonna adjust that that door sweep on the bottom, and it'll be like a five-minute project for a handyman. But um, okay. that's an important one for fire safety, because the hallway, the door should close all by itself for fire safety. Okay. Uh, bathroom. There's an exhaust fan in the bathroom that is kind of old school, it's probably original, and there's no cover. So theoretically, you know, if you're intelligent, you wouldn't do this, but theoretically, you could stick your hand in there and hit the blade. So um, I would just replace it. <laughs> just get a modern one. Um, it's up to you. I mean, if only, okay. if only you will be living here and you know it's not a risk for yourself, it's up to you. But, I would recommend it. Especially if you have guests over. Yeah, if you have guests. Um, yeah, just. Otherwise, the vanity, the bath vanity is good. Uh, sink stopper. The bath vanity. The bath vanity. The bath sink cabinet. The what? I'm sorry, I'm not hearing that clearly. And the cabinet. The bath uh, sink cabinet. So it's good condition. Uh, it doesn't have a sink stop. You can see that. Yeah, pretty fine. Uh, the shower is all good. The, uh, the shower head can be, but it's the kind you just hang on tight. So, uh, yeah. It, it leaks. I hand tighten it. It stopped leaking. It might start leaking again in the future, but um, that's the deal. If you need to replace it, they're pretty cheap. Uh, okay, the air conditioner is working. It's in great shape. It's a little bit older equipment, but it's working fine right now. Uh, I'll just replace the filter. The filter's very difficult. The curtain rods could use a handyman. Just fasten them to get the ceiling better. They're kind of coming, kind of coming down. Um, you got four windows here. Oh, sorry, is this a slider? No. No, I don't think so. It looks like a slider. It oh, it is. is. Oh, I just discovered there's actually a sign right here. Okay, so for windows, we have four jealousy windows that open and close, like the louvers. Uh, three of them are good, one of them doesn't.
doesn't work, so you replace the handle. It's just like a little twist crank handle. Um, and then there's a big slider. If you've seen photos, the center of that window, a big like you know, four foot, five foot slider. Um, this one, I'm going to put it in the report because there's no lock on it. So it's just a safety thing. There's kids or whatever, even adults. Um, don't jump on it. Just, yeah, get out of the box. So you can get like aftermarket, not aftermarket, you can get retrofit locks on Amazon. Or Home Depot, wherever. You don't need like, you don't need like a door company to do it. Um, but safety, you'll see that in the report. No lock on that one, um, I think we got our rhythm. I think so. Do you have any questions? Yeah, this is exactly how I would look at it. Like the report tells you basically everything you want to do if you want to fully correct. Right? So some people move into a new home and they don't really care. Other people want it perfect. Um, yeah, I would say none are like mission critical, although there are some safety items I would prioritize. Um, yeah. There's one more I've got to mention. You know what GFCI protection is? GFC outlets? It's, it's um, a feature you can put on outlets, receptacles, so that if they get wet, you don't get shocked. If, it gets, if the receptacle is wet, it'll cut power automatically. Um, so it's good to have them in the kitchen and the bathroom, and they don't have them here, so I would install them. They're usually $14 to $25, right? <laughs> um, they're like $25 to $35. Okay, <laughs> not Yeah, but you only need one. Um, the, mom, the receptacle that's upstream from all the others, you, you put it on that one, and the others get the same protection. But uh, anything plumbing or electrical, you know, get a licensed plumber, licensed electrician. So, yeah, that's it. Um, if you have questions, you can always call me or text me, email me. Um, I'll get you the report either tonight or tomorrow. And, yeah, that's that. Yeah.